Hi guys, um, this is Cindy. I'm going to be working on some ephemera for the D&D journal, the Dungeons and Dragons journal. So I just thought I would turn the camera on. Uh, most of it's from kits, uh, the two kits I bought, and I don't have those papers with me, but I mentioned them in another uh, video on this journal. Um, right now I'm doing some experiments over here in this corner. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, I have this bottle of glitter glue, which has been in my house forever. And I just wanted to see if it would leave traces of glue or for, or I, I wanted to see what it looked like when it's dry. So um, I'll let you know. I was just thinking about trailing some of that around the cover of my book. So um, anyway, that's going on. So we'll kind of avoid that corner. I have two of these. Um, they're a bag actually. And here's the flap or an envelope. And you just fold them up and then make a pocket here. And there's a pocket like normally would be going inside the bag or envelope. I might decorate one of those or both of those. And here's the pile of stuff I have. Um, these are some papers I got from somewhere. I bought them years ago. And in the background, you can see there's dragons. So maybe you can use those for collaging or whatever. And those those digital stamps I have. And these dragons came from the New York Public Library um, public domain images and these are um journaling cards that came with one of the kits and i had backed it on some book page and was thinking maybe it either be a tuck or if i wanted to be a journaling card i had to put some more backing on it and i have some graph paper left over if you watched the first video when i was doing the door you know i was doing the signature pages for this journal i found this graph paper that's really aged and it makes great background, so I'll probably glue some of those. Here is a like a little envelope, which I need to ink up. Have the ink here. And I cut my little dauber off. So um, just give it some more use. Um, just gonna ink this up a little bit. And then I don't want it to be so white on the edges or anything, because the whole journal has just got a grungy feel, actually. And, um, then I'll ink this, and then maybe, you know, a card like that can go in it. Yep. Okay. All right. Glitter glue. New bottle. So, we'll see how long this one lasts. <laughs> it gets to a point where when you um, forget to um, put the cap on it, that it gets hard to get the glue out, and then the more you fight with it, that little metal piece comes undone. So after that, for me, it's just basically um, get a new bottle, so. Okay, um, let's go ahead and glue this down. I'm just gonna take the stack, we'll just take it as we go. And I don't have much ephemera pieces like to decorate with, but there are a few things from the kit. Um, so if we need to, we can pull some of those. Um, they're over here. Okay, uh, backing. Oh, get rid of this. Watch the glue. I've already smeared in the glue. Oh, well, that's just going to happen because I'm using the same paper as my work paper. You know, I didn't use our glitter glue for a long time. I saw people using it on YouTube and then finally decided to get some and Man, it's, it's, it's everything they say it is. It's just wonderful. I mean, you don't have it, you miss it. So, uh, I, you know, I think pretty sure mine got put in the garbage by mistake. My main bottle, but I have my refill bottle, so we're good to go still. Okay, I could um, sew around these because I don't think I have any stitching in the book yet. So, oops, that might not be a bad idea. So you can still see the book page behind there, but that's fine because I just like, you know, little reminders that, hey, this is a junk journal, so it's not made out of, see, that one's already back. It's not made out of um, wonderful, brand new, anything, you know what I'm saying? There's a tendency that it might be made out of junk. This dauber looks like it has a little bit of black mixed in with it. I just reuse daubers. I don't care what it's been in before. I think you get different color combinations, and that's just fine. So, it just seems to have a little black tinge to it. Okay, so I know I have at least two journaling cards, and one will fit in this pocket. 
and save that and then stack those there somewhere over here okay and looks like all of these maybe um, have already been back so I don't know how come I missed that one that one's got a blue background okay so um, I won't ink them here but they're definitely gonna get inked before they go in the journal so we have plenty of journaling cards and uh, put them all there now these are pictures from something I have no clue what little sayings it simply isn't worth isn't an adventure worth telling if there isn't any dragons that's Tolkien fairy tales are more than true not because they tell us that dragons exist but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten <laughs> so anyway some quotes um, from something so anyway one of these um, kits had these and I was smart and printed these on cardstock and it's dragon scale so I thought we would just put some of these on there and you know what would be kind of nice would be some tissue paper from sewing patterns if I knew where he was at I have an avalanche over here to the side it's all the projects I had going that I wanted to stop so I can work on this and um yeah I don't see any so um what will I use will I use some uh, what do you call this stuff <laughs> yes I'll use this whatever it's called cheesecloth it's called cheesecloth so we'll just put a little bit of that behind some of the pictures okay I was looking through my daughter's last journal I made her this I may I may have mentioned this already <laughs> in a video or two back oops I'm getting in the glue again aren't I okay everything's gonna have glitter on it let me get the one up for sure red okay um her cat ate the binding strings on her spine of her journal so uh, you know of course it had to be one that had four signatures so I took string with me and rebound the journal while I was up at her she lives near my parents, so I was up that way. And uh, so I was looking through her journal, and it was more, I did more than I had realized on her journal as far as decorating and stuff. So I thought, okay, I've got to put a little bit more effort into this then. Okay, art glitter glue. Look, see, yep, I already forgot to put the lid on it. It's a good thing I have several of these bottles laying around. Okay. I'm looking. Oh, the school bus. School bus is going by. Okay, now. I can take one of these maybe and put on that um, pocket I was talking about. I'll dig that out next. Okay. Yeah, just some. Little thread sticking out the side of this little journaling card okay so that one's done and uh, well I can ink the bag just real quick okay now it's done um, so let's go back to that it's here and put the lid on I'll, I'll come back to these I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on the same thing okay um, so I can decorate it with one of these little quotes. Uh, as though I came to forget or regret all. And though I came to forget and regret all I have ever done, yet would I remember that once I saw the dragon aloft on the wind at sunset above the western isles and I would be content. Ursula Le Guin. Okay. We'll use her. Yeah. So somewhere... I've got some quotes from Dragon. It could have been in one of the kits. I don't know. I printed them out. It's been months, as I said in one of the other videos. I mean, we're talking getting close to six months that I started on this thing. So I could put a quote there. I could put a dragon egg. I could put a dragon. These are, oops, he fits on there. Here's, that looks more like a bat to me. I guess it's wings. It's just not my favorite things to, I'm sorry, just not my favorite things to decorate with. So, I mean, that goes fairly well there. Put that there. 
A lot of the stuff I have over here is already finished. Oh, you know what? I can use some of my green. Let's use some of my green uh, paper. But before I do that, I'm going to ink around him because he's got a lot of white around the edges. So just make him look like he wasn't cut out of something. So I'm not sure. I know how my daughter uses her journal. She uses it for a lot of stuff about her character's backstory and the family and the people. Like one time her character was like a gangster mobster. So she had a whole thing about people she knew. So I know a guy type thing. Uh, let's see. Can I go that way? I can do what I want, can't I? Okay. Tear this a little bit. Okay, I don't want that white edge. Okay, I'm just going to glue that on. And this is kind of slick. So I'm going to use a combination of art glitter glue and um, fabric tack because it is a slick surface. And if one doesn't stick it on there, maybe the other one will. This bottle's almost empty. Okay, come on. Ah, da, 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 da. Fast forward 10 seconds. Fast forward 15 seconds. <laughs> ah, come on. There we go. All right, that's got plenty of glue on there. It should stick to something. Okay, we're putting this Mr. Dragon on there. And probably the same thing with him. Let me tip that down. Combination of glues. I'm waiting to put these things in the journal because um, waiting for my daughter to call me back, which she could do while I'm videotaping this. <laughs> um, because there's a certain order that she recommends the pages, um, the, I don't know what we call them, the pages that have like the character descriptions and the traits and the spells and stuff go in. Okay, there's a dragon pocket. And we can just fill it up with all these journaling cards that we have tons of. So, and I've got a few different ones here, like that one. Let's ink the back of it. So I think for this journal, it doesn't bother me to have a lot of pockets in one place and then leave bunches of pages for um, writing. Okay, we'll set that aside for now. I still have all my little pieces here to decorate with. I don't know if you can see those or not. Just kind of putting them there so I don't... Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to put that in that pocket, too. It's going to be peeking out right there. Okay, uh, and yeah, there's little things like this, too, which I don't have backed onto anything. So they can either be decorating or... Um, yeah, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, or they can be made into journaling cards. So let's put this one on here. Okay, I'm moving all my stuff out of the way. But I just sorted, and now I've decided I need it out of the way. Okay, I didn't put the art glitter glue on that. I mean, the paper tack on that one, did I? I don't think I did. After saying I was going to use both. If I did, that's I put the bottle back exactly where I had put it, which is kind of not like me, so I think I forgot to put it on there. So, cap on. Fiber tack. Just enough to kind of maybe anchor it a little bit. Okay. And we're putting that on there. Just keeping this one simple. I hope it's okay to go sideways. Too late. Went sideways. Okay. And we can put some more of these little things that are already finished. Those need back. That one needs backing. This one doesn't. One of these in here and then um that one needs a backing look at the little egg wouldn't it be cute 
is a journaling card. Or that's I had it or go, didn't I? This is the pile I'm going back through again. Okay, tag. All the stuff I just piled over here. Okay, as I find stuff, like here's a whole pile we can put in here. I'm kind of not familiar with what's in these this pile because of, uh, like I said, not doing this for months. Okay, we're going to call this one done for now. And I'm going to get to these pockets, which came with the kit. And they just need, it says glue here, glue here, but they need to be folded. And I'm terrible at folding these things, so... We'll just see if I can get one done. And I, I don't know if I finished my dot logo. I'm waiting for my daughter to tell me where those things go before I glue in any pockets. Because I don't want them to be on the wrong page. But it is majority style, so I could take the pages out. Okay, having these little guesses like this means the pocket's going to have some... Um, I don't know what you call it. It's, um, it doesn't lay as flat to the page, so you get more room to... Put stuff in the pockets. Okay, so this one's gonna be ready to go. It's got all the decorations up front. I don't think I'm adding anything to that. I don't wanna take away from it. So I have several of these to fold. And then I have, I just think these are so cute, but need to be decorated. So here's more pockets, pockets. Oh, there's another eyeball. Ooh, it would be pretty on that because it just kind of blends in. So you think the whole thing is the dragon. Okay, we're gluing that down. So I got a place for a hole. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was a white piece of paper on that. I'm not sure I'll put ribbon on it, but I might. You just never know. So we'll see. Okay, I think it would go like that. Yeah, that tag's done. Okay. And we have more things about dragons. Um, yeah, here's one of the digital kits. Etsy shop. Digital Mandragora. Okay, get it up closer. I think this was the kit that was the really large kit. It had a lot of stuff to it. So I'm sure most of these um, things I'm working with came from that kit. Oh, here's another eyeball. So guess what? It goes on this one. We're putting it on this one. So it just blends in. It looks like the whole thing's a dragon. Oops, oops, oops. Some of those white edges down. Okay. Let's see, this is trying to dry. I keep putting stuff on top of it. Look at that. Cool, cool, cool. I wonder if that's how they were meant to be. I don't know. Uh, wet still. It's still. And it's kind of wet, yeah. I just don't want you to be able to see the glue. I just want you to only see glitter. And then after it dries, I'm going to see how durable it is, too. Just rub my hand over it. Here's one that's done. That's different. Let's go to that one pocket. And they'll also have something behind, which I don't know if I have anything big enough, but I could definitely make something uh, bigger with these dragons on it so I can either take this for instance and put the dragon on there and then make it a large uh, tag and maybe put some quotes or something with it that would be kind of cool so anyway oh wait a minute speak of large tags here we go these can be I oh, don't round the corners on these you know what I have two pockets and they go behind there so that works oh, let's roll one you know what I think I'll round the corner of one and then I'll use the stub the ticket stub on the other one
What's this end? Makes it look like a makes it look like a giant uh, ticket. I don't know if you can tell that or not. Maybe up against this paper. Okay, ink away. So anyway, I hope you got a little feel for some of the uh, ephemera that comes with the kits I'm going to be using for this journal and how I'm going to decorate these. It's mainly going to be a journal for writing and for gluing in whatever. It's like I said, um, you can write stuff on your computer and then print it off. That way you can use fancy fonts or whatever. So um, I don't know, just whatever you want to use it for. I think sometimes uh, my daughter takes notes from their sessions and puts them there. So, Okay, I'm going to call it a video and just know that these are going to go down behind these pockets. And they are perfect for that. So anyway, got lots of stuff to finish up here. And I will see you probably in the flip through of the journal. So thanks for watching. Bye.